This is Matthew, author, artist, and commentator. I run luminousbeings.blog, where you can find all my articles, stories, drawings, and podcasts. So I saw Into the Spider-Verse, finally, in January, January 19th, 20th, whatever, 20th. These are my tickets, took me and my girls, uh, my literal girls, the progeny who came forth for me. Anyway, um, they were a little mixed on it, uh, which is fine, because we had more or less a good time together. I gave them popcorn and M&Ms, and I had a couple M&Ms, honestly. Um, like, literally, well, like four or five, whatever. Uh, um, but uh, I loved the movie. Um, it's funny, I didn't ask the girls at all about it while we were driving home, because I kind of wanted to do this family podcast thing, but like, ooh, this family review, but it didn't work. Uh, it just, they were all being loud and excited, and I didn't want to disrupt their legitimate, spontaneous fun for my super nerdy, um, well, my super nerdy fun, uh, that's all about me, so, anyway, um, yeah, anyway, so, I cried a bunch during the movie, I laughed a bunch, uh, I think on the credits it said that it was written, co-written, whatever, by Phil Lord, which I think is Lord of Lord and Miller, who worked on Solo, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, one and two? I believe, as well as 21 Jump Street and uh, the Lego movie. Uh, Didn't see Lego or 21. Um, Cloud with my Chance of Meatballs are hilarious movies. There's like a joke in every single scene. And uh, this movie kind of had a joke in every single scene. Um, So I think that's kind of uh, the guy's style, which is great because it's funny uh, and the action was good. Um, But anyway, I just, I love the movie so darn much. Um, I'll probably talk about spoilers because I think it came out around Christmas. Or like late December, so uh, I don't know, it's been over a whole month now that the movie's been out, so I feel like I can talk about it, but, um, so, you know, there's your spoiler warning. By the way, repping, repping Spider-Man here with my red shirt, um, uh, you know, because we're all Spider-Man, uh, as the movie taught, um, but anyway, I really, uh, I really loved the movie. It was just so darn good, um, there were little things I could quibble with. Uh, like, I'll point out something really stupid as a spoiler, or, you know, like, you'd only know this if you watch the movie. So, I'll just point out the stupid spoiler thing that doesn't even really matter. Uh, it's that uh, Peter, uh, old Peter, as he's, as they've seen him being called on online, um, demands that Miles uh, venom shock him or turn himself invisible on command. Otherwise, he can't go with them on the big mission uh, that's the uh, end of the movie. And... Oh, sirens. And uh, he's unable to. But they never said out loud in the movie before then that it was called a Venom Shock. Uh, and I don't think he had a name for going invisible, so that's fine. But anyway, that was a dumb little thing. I'm going to pause real quick. i got to go get some sustenance, and I will continue this when I come back. But, uh, you know, the general thoughts on Spider-Man. I don't... Uh, I don't know. It's funny. I started to tell my wife something last night, and she said, No, don't. Don't spoil it. Uh, she won't see it till it comes out on video, uh, but I will say this. I am instantly buying Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, or, or whatever it's called, uh, as soon as it's uh, available. Uh, I might even pre-order a streaming version of it. I don't know. Um, and honestly, I think this is the kind of thing I'm going to want to get bonus features on because it's just so darn good. And, uh, you know, I'll just keep talking about peripherally all the things that make this movie really good to me. Uh, you, you know it made me laugh. You know it made me laugh. No. No cry and laugh. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, but it also made me want to start uh, looking into these other Spider-Men. There's a thing, uh, well, Miles Morales recently came into the main Marvel Universe, because I guess he was from the uh, Ultimate Universe, where Ultimate Spider-Man was, which was created back in 2000 when the Sam Raimi, uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies were coming out, um, or the Kirsten Dunst Spider-Man movies, as some people like to call them. Anyway, uh, so it was created then, and it was uh, different, you know? It was a new launch, uh, even though they'd done relaunches and relaunches, and that's just how comics are, Western comics. Um, but uh, I never really got into those comics. A co-worker recently gave me one, and I read the first couple of pages of it, and it was really cool. It's just, you know, I have so much... I'm trying to write so much and do these things and, and whatever. I'm so busy I didn't really get into it. But watching the movie really made me want to explore and, and investigate these other characters. Um, now... My, like, uh, appetite for comics is low enough. Well, I'm I'm so well-fed with everything else in my media 
diet, let's say, um, that I don't really have a ton of time and energy for comics. Uh, but I really do love Spider-Man. I love so many things about him. And, and I'll talk about one of these things is uh, the Spider-Man in the beginning who's in Miles' world, so he's like the ultimate Spider-Man, I guess. Uh, which I think that guy was kind of blondish. Anyway, interesting. Um, he, uh, he says like a couple things. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. And then he gets up and he's fighting more. Uh, and like he's smart alecky, which is great because that's part of what I love about Spider-Man. Um, but he also says, um, gosh, what does he say? Oh, he's like, I will keep getting back up. Like he, he says to that effect to Miles. And you can see he gets knocked down and he just gets back up again and again and again. And uh, that's, I, it's almost like don't give up and keep trying was the lesson or the moral from this Spider-Man as opposed to, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. But anyway, it was just beautiful to see uh, Peter struggling and Miles struggling and uh, man, everybody was struggling so much. Well, that's not really true. Gwen was in like great, great form and she performed well and it was like a very seasoned Spider-Woman. Uh, so she didn't really have any issues, but it was cool to see like an origin story um, for a character who has all these support characters around them who help them through that. But ultimately, even though uh, Miles gets some training and gets some instruction on what to do as Spider-Man, how to be Spider-Man, like that last leg of the of the journey to being Spider-Man or to being this hero is overcoming himself and like his doubt and his kind of almost, not really his desire to give up because he doesn't want to give up. He wants to keep being effective and being helpful. Um, I guess... I don't know, it's just, it was really, it was more about him, maybe, I don't know, maybe to some extent believing himself, and there's this whole thing, a line about a leap of faith in the movie, that comes, it's introduced early on, and then it's, it comes back at the end, um, so, was it that he had, maybe he had to have belief in himself, uh, which is kind of, kind of true of all of us, in order to, su to succeed, I mean, you can accidentally succeed, but to actually try something hard, and then have yourself succeed at it, I think you have to have confidence in yourself, and, um, belief that you can make it happen, so, I don't know, I guess that was the message, but it was just, uh, everything about it was so good, the music was good, I loved Kingpin's motive, Kingpin is the main villain of the movie, there are other villains, but he's the main villain, he's the driving force, and his motivation was great, I loved it, it was, uh, it was beautiful, it was poetic, um, very dramatic as well, so that's good. Um, and uh, I really don't have much else to say uh, about the movie without just going on and on and droning. But uh, I want to look at these other Spider-Men. And I uh, I heard recently that there's already excitement for people to bring Supaidaman from Japan in um, into a sequel. And it ended with a like obvious sequel bait. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully that happens. I, I want to watch like 10 more of these movies. Um... It was so good. I couldn't believe it was two hours. Uh, <coughs> I'm glad it was two hours. Uh, it was really a good thing for it to be that long because they needed room for the story to grow. Um, oh, and then there was like dramatic irony and like familial stuff in it. Just anyway, I was thinking about a particular one of my favorite characters in the movie was Prowler because I love Prowler from the 90s uh, cartoon. I had my dad buy me a toy of him when I was a kid, and uh, I love that guy. And I love. Uh, yeah, I just love Prowler. He's so cool. Um, and I don't think he gets a heroic turn in the Spider-Man cartoon. Um, but I was really interested to see his arc because I kind of remember him t turning and uh, being, you know, having some sort of redemption. But uh, it was, I really liked his role in the movie, um, both in and out of the suit. And uh, I just, it was so cool. I mean, I saw it coming, but that didn't bother me. It's not a problem necessarily. Um, with these genre things, like, there's always going to be things that you can see coming, but that doesn't mean it's bad or trite. Uh, I just thought it was really well executed, so that was that was a lot of fun. Um, I like the other spider people, even Spider-Ham. I thought I was going to hate Spider-Ham, and I honestly actually said, like, this is Spider-Ham in it? No, thank you. I'm not going to see it. I always thought months ago. And then I just heard about how good it was, and I looked at another trailer, and I thought, this actually looks pretty good. So I decided to check it out. So anyway, that's all. Into the Spider-Verse. I am into the Spider-Verse now, and uh, can't wait for more of it, and... I checked out the uh, Miles Morales mainline uh, Marvel comic, and I didn't like it because Peter's still around, and uh, I don't know, I mean, it just kind of cheapens things. Um, but the parallel universes and all the different worlds of Spider-Men, or Spider-People, whatever, uh, made me kind of think about Kamen Rider and how their whole universe of heroes exists, and uh, it made it feel good to me. Like, I don't like Western comics because they never end, um, but if you can have all these different worlds with all these different stories, that appeals to me. 
because uh, I want there to be an end. Like, I was very happy and sad, and I had all sorts of different feelings about the different endings to the worlds or to the, uh, like, the stories of the different Spider-Men that they showed. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for your time and attention. Episode. I'd love to do more of this. Like, share, and subscribe to cheer me on, or give me feedback to make me stronger and smarter. Visit luminousbeings.blog for more. I link everything I do there, so if you want to comment, that's the place where I'll definitely see it.